Well, hello folks, this is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And today we're going to give some advice on maybe how to or how not to build a YouTube channel. One of the best pieces of advice I can give is anytime you start a new endeavor, don't go off half cocked. Do a little research, use a little sense. We all got a little sense, use it. Now one of the first things you're gonna need is a camera. Now you can go off and spend a lot of money on a GoPro if you want to, but most of us these days are toting around a phone in our pocket that's got a pretty good camera on it. And if you'll go into the settings and set that thing to 4K, it'll make a pretty good picture. And you can always improve later by buying a GoPro when you decide if you're gonna continue in this YouTube journey or not. And that's another thing. I got all kind of background noises. That's a good tip. Be aware of what's going on around you because them things will pick up noise that you may not want in your video. One of the best tools that helps me out is a cotton ball and some rubber bands. You can rubber band some cotton balls to your phone and block out the wind noise if you're outside. But one of the best tools you're gonna need is the YouTube Studio app. Man, that thing's got all kind of things that'll help you out. Things to study to make your YouTube journey go a lot better. One of the first thing you're gonna notice on that studio app that you need to pay attention to is your dashboard. I have studied and studied that thing and I finally figured it out. So this is a real good tip. They say you need to put videos out on a regular basis, at least one a week, maybe two a week. There's a gauge on your dashboard that shows the gas level. And if it gets down to empty, your car is going to run out of gas and it won't go no more. So what that dashboard is telling you is don't run out of gas. Just keep putting out videos. Well, it's not started raining and run me inside. But you'll find out, you'll hear a term that people say, a call to action that means asking people to like your videos hit that thumbs up or maybe to subscribe to your videos because i found out it don't matter how good a video you put out if you don't ask people to subscribe they forget about it they just might need a little reminding. And you know, there's still some things that I just don't guess I'll ever figure out. So if y'all know, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. This thing about thumbnails. I mean, they say it's not near as important as it used to be. But it's still pretty important because they say you can have a thumbnail that really sticks out and gets everybody's attention when they see it. Or you can just have a regular old thumbnail. And I don't understand what in the world that's got to do with YouTube. I chose to do just a regular old thumbnail. Because them old long ones get in my way. And another thing I don't understand. I'm taking a walk out in the woods. And sometimes I get home in the summertime after I've been in the woods. I might find a tick crawling on me. I don't understand at all this analytic thing. I mean, I know what deer ticks are. I know what dog ticks are. There's a tick called the Gulf Coast tick. There's a Rocky Mountain wooded tick. But I don't understand this analytic. It just, what's that got to do with YouTube? And they say you need to really study that. And I can't even find one to study it. Another one that I just can't make the connection with on YouTube is what does Al Gore having rhythm have to do anything about YouTube? But they say that's one of the big ones is that Al Gore rhythm. YouTube has changed a bunch since it first started out. And my understanding is now that they're kind of pushing content creators to use shorts. And I don't understand that at all. I'll be doggone if I'm going to take a video of my fruit of the looms and put them out there for the whole world to see.
there's one thing I do know what it is, and that is content. And that means you be satisfied with whatever you're doing. Don't be frustrated about it, just be content. When you make your video, one of the most important things is when you get through with it, just be content about what you've done. Well, folks, <laughs> y'all can do whatever you want to with these little tidbits of information. I think I'm just gonna keep making videos and not worry about it myself. And always remember, folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.